There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. In this video, we are going to be discussing something that Jen Loves Reviews brought up in a video that she posted yesterday that is actually very shocking to me. Well, not really considering that this is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. However, I am going to be linking her video in the description box of this video if you guys don't know who Jen is. She's an amazing YouTuber when it comes to makeup. She does a lot of well-researched videos when it comes to makeup and things like that. I love Jen, she's super sweet, you guys go check her out. But in her video yesterday, she discussed how there was a difference between three different palettes, those palettes being the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette that she had, as well as the Jaclyn Hill palette that her sister or friend bought, I can't remember exactly who, and then she got a control from, I believe, one of the stores around her. And she ended up swatching all of these palettes and then she came to the realization that all of these palettes, the two that she had that are the new Jaclyn Hill version two, not volume two, not this one, but the original Jaclyn Hill volume one palette were different. Now she went very in depth with all of this. She did swatches of all three palettes, two being the same, and then the one original palette that she said that she had and she loved, that she gave a raving review. And Jen actually ended up removing her videos because she did not stand by what was in the original palette versus what's in the new palette that's supposed to be the same thing. Now for those of you that have already watched her video or have not watched her video or you may not have time to watch her video, I'm going to give you the cliff notes of what she had to say about this because it's very interesting to me. Jen went through and actually messaged more and wanted to know if there was like a difference in the formula because if you guys know when Jaclyn Hill launched this palette, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2, she said that it was the same great creamy buttery formula that she had in the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. I'll give you that clip just for context so you know what I'm about to talk about and see why this is such a big issue. This is the same loved formula as the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette and People ask me about that all the time because they're like, wait, what do you mean like it's a different formula? Because Morphe has their standard formulas and I created my own formula. There's actually been other people who've collaborated with Morphe who've asked if they can just use my formula and they're like, sorry, that's Jaclyn's only. Like, I signed papers, it's my formula that I worked very hard on a couple of years back to develop. Well, after Jen did her research and found out that maybe these two things are not the same and I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say they're not the same because the ingredients are not the same. If you look at Jaclyn Hill Volume 1, the original palette, it did not have Carmine. Flash forward to now and the Jaclyn Hill Palette 1 does have Carmine in it. Now some of you guys may not even know what Carmine is. I did not know what Carmine was and how many things it's actually in. It's even in Skittles and many different things that we eat. It's actually really kind of gross. But for those of you that don't know, it's actually crushed up beetles. Here, I'm gonna just read for you just what Carmine is. So I just put this in Google. I said, what is Carmine? It says, is Carmine made from bugs? Carminic acid, typically 17 to 24% of dried insects weight can be extracted from the body and eggs, then mixed with aluminum or calcium salts to make carmine dye, also known as cochineal. You guys know I can't read, so don't come for me. Today, carmine is primarily used as a colorant in food and in lipstick, E120 or natural red 40. Now, I don't know your preferences and a lot of things that we ingest and put on our bodies, we really don't know what they are unless you take the time to read the ingredients. And then, even then, the ingredients are so like vague. You have to get out Google, you have to get out your phone, you have to ask, what is this to find out what some certain things are. But the argument that's being brought up now is the fact that this original palette did not have carmine in it and a lot of people are alleging that this was touted as vegan. And at that time it actually was, but the issue with this now is Jaclyn Hill is saying that this is the same great formula that her original palette had when now it has carmine added to it. So of course if it was the same formula, the original palette didn't have it. Jaclyn Hill said this is the same formula, right? Well. I went and took a look at the ingredients list on the Morphe website because you guys know that Morphe does not put any kind of ingredients or anything on the back of this palette or any of their palettes, rather I don't think. And this is actually what I found. It says, eyeshadows, I'm in it, Ryder, diamonds, Talia, get ready with me, bougie, drama queen, flawed and awed, a moment, good place, and here's that word again. Palo, Paolo, Palo, whatever she called her friend, Paolo. If you look here, this palette actually does have Carmine in it as well. And actually I stand corrected, the packaging that the box that it comes in does actually have the ingredients listed here on the back. So my bad you guys, before you come for me. Now as with all of these palettes that have pressed pigments, you guys know that they say, do not put around the eyes. <laughs> that is a common thing, but I mean, it's an eyeshadow palette. It's marketed to be put around your eyes. So. 
a lot of people do it. But this started a very big debate on Twitter. You guys know I live for Twitter. I hate Twitter. I love Twitter. It's a love and hate relationship that we have over there. People hate me. They love me. I'm just trying to figure out what it's going to be today. So of course, I went to Twitter when I knew that I was going to be making this video and I found Ruby and Ruby had this to say. This was very interesting. That's why I'm putting this in here. So all credit goes to Ruby. She said, okay, what the hell? The original Jaclyn Hill palette used to be vegan. I'm 100% sure of it because I checked the ingredients and it was under the vegan tab on the Morphe website. Now I didn't see it under the tab and I see this in the ingredients at Morphe's brushes at Jaclyn Hill. Also, I just quickly wanted to add that if you Google Jaclyn Hill vegan, this page will come up and it says 100% vegan. Morphe is cruelty free. We do not test our products or any of our ingredients on animals. Plus all of the following products are completely vegan. And Jaclyn Hill's palette, her Jaclyn Hill volume one palette used to be listed here. But if you go to this link, it will actually say ghosted and this page is no longer available. So that would definitely indicate to me that they have changed this formula. They're aware of it and it has not been mentioned. And she attached the ingredients list and it says Carmine. She highlighted it here. Ruby then went on to say, is the palette I bought even vegan? The palette that I promote on my cruelty free and vegan YouTube channel all the time. I'm so sad now because I was so happy that this was vegan. I know that it might not be a big deal for many people since Morphe is cruelty free, but for those of us who are vegan and maybe use and love a product, this is such a letdown. Also, I think it's strange that the ingredients of a product suddenly change. Is the new product the same or does it perform differently because of the new ingredients makes me feel very skeptical about Morphe. And she posted this five days ago. And of course, this was before Jen posted her review. And if you watch Jen's video, the swatches were different. The, the palette definitely performed differently. So of course, our good sis, <laughs> Gigi with the T chimed in and she had this to say. And you guys know that Gigi with the T is always on point when it comes to what she posts as receipts and things like that. She said, I checked Temptalia's post about this palette from when it first came out and the shades that are now listed as containing Carmine don't have it in the ingredients in Temptalia's post. So I assume they didn't contain it when it was first launched. And she attached a screenshot from Temptalia's blog. And if you guys don't know who Temptalia is, she is very, very good with makeup. She's an OG in the beauty makeup community and she reviews a lot of products and she literally has no qualms with calling anybody out about a product and how it performs. So after seeing all of this, I did tweet out because I knew that I was going to be making this video. I said, how important is a product being vegan to you? Replies may be in my video, of course. So, and a lot of people don't really understand that vegan does not always mean cruelty-free. I know that. But if you don't know, now you know, vegan does not always equal cruelty-free. And of course, I love animals. So I have actually stopped using some products that are like not considered cruelty-free. I believe Dr. Brandt, I used to use his eye cream don't use that anymore because I believe that it is tested on animals and I don't want to contribute to that. But I did get a lot of replies and this is what some people had to say. Violetta said, I'm not vegan so not sure. Raphael, and I love you so much, said cruelty free is the best way to go. Shannon said, cruelty free is honestly more important to me and I agree. And here is Gigi with the T and she chimed in and I haven't read this yet. She said, I think being cruelty free is more important. The animal products that are found in cosmetics aren't cruelty free in the sense that things like keratin and collagen are made from animal parts. However, the parts used would otherwise be discarded so they are being sourced from somewhere like in the meat industry. I don't find it to be a problem because those animals were already going to be killed due to entirely separate industry and I don't want products to go to waste. So if that makes sense. That said, there are specific things that just flat out I don't agree with and won't support such as mink eyelashes and I agree if you guys have not watched the videos on how mink eyelashes are made, it's sickening. The industry that goes hand in hand with mink eyelashes is the fur industry which I do not support. I don't really support the fur industry either. Anytime you have to kill an animal that would otherwise get to live for like a coat or a jacket, like that that's something that I think that we could all work on. But you guys, I would really like to know your opinions and your thoughts and your feedback on this because Jen did open a very good discussion. Why has the formulation changed and why did Jacqueline say that it's the same great formula? And then even in this new palette, there's Carmine in it when the original Jacqueline Hill Volume 1 palette did not have it. Also, one more talking point that I wanted to bring up, which was really, really weird to me after I saw Jen's video was you guys remember when Jacqueline got called out the other week for the JH2 and it allegedly being 
sat in like a warehouse and her like selling it later. And Jacqueline came out and she posted this whole thing with JH2 on the volume one palette. Jacqueline said, this is a shipment of my original JH palette for restock. The JH2 is used for my original Jacqueline Hill palette is on the back of every box. This is not to be confused with JH volume two or the JH favorites palette. And she had a picture here that she posted. It says JH2 in this original Jaclyn Hill volume one palette. So a lot of people don't know if Jaclyn Hill was actually aware of this change or if Morphe probably did this behind her back. I'm willing to bet, and this is just my personal opinion, that Jacqueline probably did know. If she knew about this JH2 change on the original packaging, she probably knew that the formula changed. She probably did. That's just my opinion. And if she did, I think that that's shady. But if she didn't, I think that that's shady on Morphe's behalf. I really hope that Jacqueline speaks on this because a lot of people are pissed. If you originally bought this Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette and you knew that it was vegan and you didn't want bugs on your face and then you just went and bought another random palette that's now being released by Morphe that's the same palette that is being touted as the same formula and it has Carmine in it, that could be an issue for some people. So I understand why people would be upset. But of course, you guys, I would really like to know your opinions. Your thoughts and your feedback on this entire thing down below. Is it just another case of Morphe being shady to Jacqueline or is it just another case of Jacqueline Hill and Morphe being shady together? As always, you guys, I hope you all have the most amazing day ever and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.